riders say they follow the party. Wherever the horses go, they go. Good evening, Erica. We're out here on Interstate 10 where traffic appears to be moving. You can tell just how much it rained overnight here on Redwood Drive by all the water that's left behind. If you want your softball fix for the summer, be sure to head out to the Beaumont Athletic Complex this weekend. Did you think that for the first time since 96 you were going to lose your seat? Without crossing guards, many BISD students would be forced to navigate busy roads all by themselves. If you purchase a cell phone that you believe to be brand new but notice it has old music, teachers have literally had to hold back their tears knowing that they'll never walk these halls again. 85% on the right to right now. It's not often you see teens working in an emergency room or checking up on patients. I'm able to experience something that's great and not have to worry about money or transportation or anything like that. If you don't have compassion, you are not going to like this job. But for the Nightingale program put on by Christus Hospital and Lamar University, it's the 10th year of early recruiting. Two that work in ICU that have gone through the Nightingale program that are nurses now, and then there are other students that go through the Nightingale program that end up in the medical field. And since it's gone on for so many years, the program has come full circle like it's supposed to, over and over again. Even participants notice the importance of starting early, especially when they can choose a career after going through a program free of cost. I think it's great to start early with what you want to do because then you have more knowledge and more experience with the career instead of just deciding when you're 20, 25, then you're not really going to have the experience and background that you need. An early track to do what they love so these students can get an early start to their future. In Port Arthur, Pilar Arias, 12 News HD. Drilling for natural gas and oil has begun beneath Amelia Elementary on Major Drive. I think it's going to be a real good benefit for BISD. Fortunately, BISD mom Tiffany Williams knows a little something about the process. I have natural oil and gas under my property, which is in the West End, and when they drilled, they drilled um, about two miles away from my house. Pumped out of there back onto the production site. BISD Chief Business Officer Robert Zingelman says all the district has to do is sit and wait for the first check. If not within the next couple of months, certainly in the next budget year, I'm trying to get uh, some estimates now from Samson to, for budgeting purposes. Samson Oil Exploration first contacted the Beaumont Independent School District about drilling underneath Amelia Elementary in April 2009. As it turns out, the map provided to BISD covers more than 40 acres, meaning people who live across the street from Amelia Elementary may also benefit as well. For parents concerned about the safety and health of students who attend the school, Zingelman says there's nothing to worry about. I don't see that there be any any safety concerns. The, the storage tanks, the holding, the production well itself, all the solvents, everything they use is actually on that site at the intersection of major and college. The consensus seems to be nothing but good coming from the land beneath Amelia Elementary in a time when many districts are strapped for cash. In Beaumont, Pilar Areas, 12 News HG. They came in droves today, all with one thing in mind, to buy alcohol, including Mary Johnson, a Lumberton resident who moved here from Michigan seven years ago and to her dismay found out the city was dry. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I didn't think places like that still existed. Johnson was in Longhorn Liquor hours after opening and says beyond the convenience of getting a drink, the new store brings what's best for the community. I'd rather have the tax dollars stay here in town than go somewhere else. We could use the money for the schools and the roads and the fire department and the police department and everything else that the city needs. Those needs are exactly why Dennis Williams says he opened the store. And years later, a couple alcohol petitions and more than 10 permits, his doors are open. I think it will add something to the community and hopefully it'll bring other businesses out here that, that, uh, that will help Lumberton grow. But not everyone feels the same way. Kathy Mitchell has lived in Lumberton for years and seen liquor again and again on the ballot. Mitchell says people have tried to open bars, clubs, and everything in between. When people vote that they don't want something in their community to, um, to force it is not only disrespectful of, of the people who have voted, but it's respectful of our whole system. That system places the Longhorn just feet outside the city limits and gave Williams the green light to open up and give patrons like Johnson a convenient place to buy their booze. I'd rather have somebody drink locally and only have to drive five minutes home as opposed to 35 minutes home. In Lumberton, Pilar Arias, 12 News HD.